Nine Arch Bridge in Sri Lanka, Ella. Today I am going to show you this, I think the most famous site of Sri Lanka, the most iconic one. Some people think that it is overrated, but I really liked it. I like such kind of architecture and also it is very pleasant that you can reach the bridge on foot during just a 40-minute walk or hiking and the scenery on the way is also very beautiful. Check my video about Ella and don't subscribe to me to see more of my adventures around the world. And I am going to tell you more about the history of this site. This iconic Vajaduk surrounded by lush greenery and uh, mist-covered hills is not only a testament to human ingenuity, but also a symbol of the region's rich history and cultural heritage. It is also known as the bridge in the sky, and it is a marvel of engineering. What makes the Nine Arch Bridge particularly remarkable is its construction method. The bridge was built entirely using stone bricks, cement and steel without the use of any steel arches or supports. Instead, the structure relies on nine massive arches, each crafted with precision to support the weight of passing trains. Now you see how many people want to see it and maybe to watch a train passing by. The Nine Arch Bridge was constructed during the British colonial period in the early 20th century, between 1919 and 1921. The bridge was built to connect the railway line between Ella and Demodara, allowing trains to traverse the deep ravine that separates the two hillsides. And the design of the bridge incorporates a classic colonial aesthetic, characterized by its solid masonry work and elegant arches. The symmetrical arrangement of the arches, coupled with the natural surroundings, lends the bridge an air of timeless beauty that continues to captivate visitors to this day. Now everybody is waiting for the train, yeah, you see people are getting prepared to make some good photos. And actually the construction of the Nine Arch Bridge was a significant engineering feat during Sri Lanka's colonial period, because it's not only facilitated transportation between Ella and Demodara, but also played a crucial role in the development of the region's tea industry. Although Sri Lankan people don't like talking so much about the colonial era. Now the train is coming, so you can see how many people are taking photos even inside the train. And you know this way from Ella to Kandy uh, is considered to be one of the most beautiful in the world. I mentioned it and showed a bit of it in my video about Ella, so be sure to check it. And the way is very big. For example, we traveled from Ella to Novara Elia for three hours and a half. So if you want to visit Sri Lanka, give me a like and you will definitely make your dream real. See you in my next videos. Bye-bye.